back to crosscode. I have since switched to PC controls because the Xbox wasn't killing it for me. So we'll see if I can do much better. As of now, I kind of forgot what I need to do. There she is, the Avatar, and she's a Spheromancer class. How awesome is that? Looks like you got your first fan, Leah. Hey there, Carla. Good to see you. I bought all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now, I have to take care of the Avatar, you know? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. But first, let me make sure this is actually still recording. Okay, it is. <laughs> There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. A Spheromancer is so awesome. Bow is this way. It's a bit of a walk, though. Just follow me. Carla, what were all those destructible boxes doing in that room? Anyway, I was just practicing how to use those things, you know? Probably should have done that somewhere else. Yeah, probably. Probably should have, but here we are. The only thing about uh, doing the controls this way is that I can't see the time. Why are the stairs like they were going down? Now, girl, have a look at this. Okay, where to start? How about welcome to Cross Worlds? Uh, one step at a time, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of an MMO? Yes, I do. Nods. All right. Now, Cross World is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. They're special avatars. These avatars have a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Leah, are currently logged into this game as well. Oh, me? No, I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. That is correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworlds. The actual game takes place in the land you see over there, the playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory, and we are trying to recover it. <gasps> you see, you have been in this game before. Ooh, wow, so speak. Being long into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to that glass palace of a city over there. Mm, looks like pixels to me. <laughs> That's Rhombus Square. It's where all players start. Cool. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then, I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna go talk to the captain and try to set up that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you could have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water, girl. Fall in, fall in. By the way, Leah, I had a closer look at those speech synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I'll be able to fix them soon. <sighs> However, I found a little workaround. I might be able to hard code specific audio patterns into your speech module. That means I'm so tired. You will be able to say certain words. That should help a bit, correct? So let us try it out. New word embedded. Hi. 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 Hi, hi, hi. It works. That should help you start some conversations with the crew here. Let's go say hi to this man. Hi. Hello there. You must be a guest on the ship, right? Why, don't be shy. We seamen look rough, but we're easygoing folks, really. You want to know what I'm doing here? Sure. I'm currently checking up on the solar panels here. These are our primary energy source. They better work properly. Otherwise, our nice and shiny MS solar won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. Huh. I suppose that he did not even notice you are an avatar. Well, the human appearance is quite convincing. Except for their hair color. Or except for the hair color. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh well. What's up with this man? Ah, look who's here. You must be that avatar, right? Well then, welcome to the MS Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. <gasps> Oi, make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure avatars are bad at swimming. Good to know. What is this? Hi! Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Oh, right, I remember now. You're that pseudo robot thing. 
Oh, no offense. You see, I just recently had this discussion with a colleague. It was about avatars being the same as robots. And I have to insist, they are not. Avatars are just some fragile, temporary collection of instant matter. Everybody knows real robots are made of metal, like these, like these beauties here. So, I just can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar, no true robot, see? Anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so if you'll excuse me, that guy's a dick. Hi! So, sorry, I'm busy checking the containers here. Great, who's anyone else in the ship I can talk to? Nope. How do I dash? Oh, right. Right click. Oh, these people. Oh my, that's some extremely colorful hair you have there. I had heard that avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? And those thorns, or horns, too. You're not happy about them either, huh? Now I have to wonder if I put those things on you. Wish I could whistle, but I cannot. Hi! Oh, Avatar incoming. I must say, I'm surprised. I expected the embodiment of some gamer kitty's wildest dreams. Lots of beefcake and such. Yet, here we have such a cute girl. Aww. Too bad that doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Just like in the old days of the memos, some things never change. Well, where the heck am I going? Oh, Miss Avatar is back. Hi! Woo! She talked to me. Gee, calm down there, fellow. Anyway, Carla just passed by us again. She told us that she could take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really? Can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her work on our guests. Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy those bo these boxes with your avatar weapons, right? Awesome. Please, I want to see that. Well, no pressure. You know you're a guest after all, but you'd help us out a lot. So, will you destroy the boxes for us? Yes, yeah, show us the balls! What a weird, uh... Woohoo, this is amazing! Well, it certainly works. I need to, like, figure out how to do the thing. Okay. There has to be a way to go up here. But how do I get up here? Okay. There's like a... Um... Oh. I should... Shoot. Maybe I'll... Okay, I need to get up here somehow. I also need to hit those things. But, uh, oh, wait a second. Stupid. What's it from here? Duh. Duh! Oh, I can't. Oh, well. Oh, shizes! Platform games always get me. It's like, now that I've decided that I'm gonna do... The thing, I feel like I, like, I feel like now I'm like, well, shoot, man. I might as well stick to the, my Xbox control. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't play with me. All clear! Truly amazing! I'm really surprised how quickly those balls were flying. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls, only those boxes disappearing for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these AR goggles to see them. The balls and their impact are like virtual and stuff. I see. So that's why you've been wearing those goofy glasses all day. Goofy? You know nothing about Star Lady. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot for the help. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Avatar. You're welcome. On my way now. I don't know where I'm going. Um, am I going to the cabins, maybe? Oh, there's a captain. Here we go. Hi! Whoa, you spoke! Is your voice finally back? Hi. Wait, that ain't right. 
Her speech synchronization is still malfunctioning. I just hard coded the word hi into her speech module. That's all she can say for now. I'm currently working on adding more words. I see. It's a start, I suppose. Anyway, the Cap and I here have been planning out your combat training, girl. We're almost set and good to go, right? Aye, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I'm off to my cabin for some final preparations. I'll be done in no time, so just stick with the captain, okay? See you later! Hi, I'll be back on the bridge. You can talk to me when you're ready for your lesson. Make sure you're prepared. I'll be expecting your full attention. You two, over there. Make sure you clean up the galley after you're done cooking, understand? Aye, aye, captain! It's not like we forgot since the last time we told us. Yeah, wasn't that yesterday? These guys! Anything in it? Can I like sleep? Can she sleep with a thing? Nope, she can't sleep. Okay, I didn't mean to walk into the room, but here we are. You said the bridge? Fourth floor bridge! Nope, that's a wall there. That's okay. There you are! It's about time for your combat lesson. You ready? Sure. Good, let's go to the balcony. Thank you for automatically transporting me there because I ain't got time. Good, here we are. Carla, are you ready up there? Yes, Cap. Don't forget the goggles. Aye. Haven't worn these for some time. Alright then, time to start. I was told you learned the basics down in the cargo hold. Still, first I want you to show me your grip on aiming and throwing. Carla, prepare the target pot. Time to say hello to an old friend. Listen carefully. I want you to hit that robot from this distance ten times and do it quickly. Got that? Nods. Ah, just as I expected. You notice how half of them balls missed the target? You still need to understand how to aim properly. I'll show you how it's done. Watch closely. See them dotted lines? That's the throwing range. When I, when I now start throwing balls, they'll be flying randomly in between the two lines. That's some pretty darn sloppy throwing. We won't have that here, you hear me? Now, fact is, when you be throwing balls, your, your precision will improve over time, like this. But clearly, this takes time. You want to be precise quicker? Then you better keep the aim and start the darn throwing. Quick, wasn't it? Once you get your lines connected, you can throw with high precision. See how you keep your precision after throwing? Once you got the lines connected, you can quickly throw as many precise balls as you want. But your precision is lost when you change your aim and direction too quickly. So in short, don't rush with the throwing. First, wait for a split second to get the precision. Then you can throw to your heart's content. You want to try again? Sure! Good, let's see if you got the message. I see you understand the basics well enough. That will make things easier. Carla, we need that turret now. Aw, oh, shizes. Time to turn on old Betty. Next, we'll be practicing the dash. The turret will now start shooting at you. I want you to do two things. First, keep your aim on the turret, but don't throw anything. Second, dodge the turret's bullets without losing your aim. All right, then let's start. Nice work. Oh, jeez. Nice work. Enough with dodging. Now try to handle this attack, lass. What? What the heck was that? Don't you know how to how to do a darn guard? Actually, Jet. As a matter of fact, she does not. I forgot to activate her guard module. Sir, here. Are you serious? You can't send that lass into battle without a proper shield. Yes, I will fix that right now. Guard activated. Good, so now you have your shield. Need an introduction on how it works? Yes. Alright, and listen closely. Note that the shield will only block the front, always look into the direction of the attack. And finally, you can even you can even aim during guard. It's slow, but it works. Got the basics? Good. Now it's about time you try to block this swarm of balls, right? Here it goes! I dodged it. Okay, very good. That's all the bases I can teach you for now. Now to round everything up. Let's have a proper battle against the turret where you can use everything you learn. 
Though, there will be a little surprise waiting for you. I'll let you take a short breather. Talk to me when you're ready. So, you ready for the battle? Yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. Let the battle begin. No oh, shit. Mind my own business or initializing shield. Nig. I don't have time. Oh, so cool shield. Ooh! And your full shield's off, you're overheating. Overheating. Great. Captain! I'm sorry to interrupt, but we need you on the bridge right now! What's the matter? Something is approaching us, and quickly! Bloody darn timing! Sorry, lass. We have to stop here. Duty calls. Carla, you clean up the balcony first and come to the bridge afterwards. Understood. You ain't gonna heal me, though? Girl, I have no idea what's going on here, but it'd be better for you to go inside, too. Sounds like a plan to me. No, oh, what are we doing? It's still on the radar, approaching us at high velocity. No transmission, no darn ship to see. What's going on here? Captain, I think I caught it on satellite. You gotta see this. The pixely man. He can fly, so he must be an avatar. What a peculiar location we have here. It's a darn cargo ship, you dauber. You look like someone who jumped right out of Crossworlds. This ship is not part of the bloody playground, so don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place, yet we perceive the presence of another misplaced individual. That's none of your bloody business. Get off this ship and come to the game you came from. Foolish mortal, do you truly believe you'll abide by your command? Did you just call me immortal, you nutcase? You better leave right now or I'll be glad to tighten your grip on reality. You bore us. We choose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Dang, he said converse. Besides, our search has already been concluded. Hi. You. You do not belong here. You need to be removed. Ah! Wait. You seem all too familiar. Why? It can't be. Indeed, it might be a mere coincidence. Oh, but we most definitely have a way to be certain. What is this? What a convenient stage we have here. Now, it is time to face your trial. What the heck? Let us see if you are the genuine article. A display of your talent shall suffice as proof. Nig, Leah, do you hear me? I am just as confused about this whole situation as you are. It is certainly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take on this challenge and uh, keep him busy. I know this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I am confident you will be able to handle this. Because I can see its battle stats, they match your level. Why this nigga line? Ooh! Oh shit. Oh. So essentially I just... Essentially I just... Okay. 
One more hit, and we should be good. <gasps> oh, waha! Oh, shit, one more. And he's dead. And we're. Oh, come on, come on! Maybe he really was my battle level. It's lit. Unlock real history, level up. Jeez. This is a lot of things. It just popped up. I was not prepared for all of that. This spinning motion. One cannot find it twice in this world. Truly, there is no doubt about it. When was the last time we have laid eyes upon you? You within your incomplete vessel. Yes, you have our utmost interest. You will come with us. Oh! Greetings from the solar fish, you pile of instant matter. What's this? Your divine powers can hold a proper explosion? Why, you? This is preposterous. Thank you, Captain. Okay, you, what are you, what? Okay, last, she need to get off the ship right now. Carla, get her back to the teleporter as fast as possible and tell me when she's off the ship. I'll make sure no trace of cross worlds is left on my ship. Got it, Cap. Follow me, girl. Run! Where are we going? Why am I being teleported away? Well, well. Our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will! He already caught up? Leah, those are high-level opponents. Do not fight them. Run to the teleporter. Well, Nick, where's the... We can sense your fear every step. Your escape is futile. Leave me alone. Where am I going? I'm just running at this rate. Ah! Nigga, what the... Jesus! Oh man. Which way am I going? <laughs> Come on, kid. Jesus. Where the heck are we going? We got an idea. Oh shit. Fuck that up. Fuck that up, y'all. Aw, oh, shit, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm about to say, girl. Where is a stoop? Oh. Here we are again. Time for you to leave this party. Come on, sweetie. This isn't the time for tearful goodbyes. Besides, there are these guys. Goodbye, Leah. Enjoy Crossworlds. That's a quick little teleporter. Chapter 1 complete. You darn pile of instant matter! Stop putting your trash all over the ship. This ain't going nowhere. Gonna go nowhere. Jet, we did it. But he almost got us. There are probably some enemies left down in the cargo hold. Putting even more trash in my cargo hold? Okay, that's it. Playtime is over. Crew, activate the neutralizer. You're meddling with matters that are not of your concern. This is my ship. Daubers like you messing with my ship are on the bloody top of my list of concerns. I said it before and I'll say it again. This cargo ship is not part of the bloody playground. Oh! Dang, that's tough. What the bloody hell was that all about? I don't know, kid. This place is kind of small. Where are we taking me? Initializing Avatar. We 
we did it, Leah. Whew. I still cannot believe what just happened on the MS Solar. Anyway, we are now in the official playground. This area is packed with all kinds of security measures. More interference from that blue individual is highly unlikely here. For now, let's just proceed. This is Rhombus Square, or more precisely, Newcomer's Bridge! This is the official introduction to Crossworlds. I place you right in the front of the last part. It is important that we do this part of the part the official way to avoid suspicion. Ah, huh? uh, yes, speaking of suspicion, listen, Leah. It is absolutely essential that you pass as a regular player. We must avoid being reported at any cost. Hi? Ah, yes. Do not worry too much about your speech synchronization issues. You are, in fact, not the first player with these problems. Oof. Anyway, just be careful, okay? So, with that said, I'm going to end this part right here. Save my game. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all of your friends. Oh, shoot. But, uh, most importantly, stay saucy.